What's interesting about Ghost Recon is we're able to kind of look at things from both sides, you know? For us, it's the theme of the game is, is the gray zone. It's not all white and black. It's not this way or that, you know? There's, there's two sides to every story. And we wanted to see both sides of the story from the perspective of, of the spec ops teams for the ghosts. But we also wanted to see things from the side of the cartel. Dès le départ du jeu, un des, une des expressions qui, a, qui nous a guidé, c'était euh, Eurotruth. C'était la, la vérité crue. On voulait montrer la vérité crue de ce qu'était euh, un narco gang euh, qui, qui prend le contrôle d'un pays. The thing about uh, Clancy games is, every single one of them is asking this what if question. What if Mexican cartels came to Bolivia? What would happen? What we essentially did was we looked at the, the hierarchy of the cartel, all the, the roles that need to be filled, all the jobs, and we created personalities around each of these jobs. We looked at the, the guy whose job is to dispose bodies, and we were like, well, what would that guy's personality be like? Where did he come from? How did he become part of this cartel? La création des personnages, c'est un vrai travail collaboratif parce qu'il y a un besoin narratif. Il y a un besoin d'avoir de, euh, des personnages qui, qui disent quelque chose. Dans leur être profond, il faut qu'ils aient une identité. Le cartel est divisé en four opérations. The first one is the smuggling of cocaine, the production, the influence, and also the security. And because the game is non-linear and the story is non-linear, the player can uh, destabilize one operation before the other. At the top of the cartel, you have El Sueño, El Jefe de Jefe, the boss of bosses, right? And this is a guy who's super intelligent, super brutal, but also extremely religious. Sueños past is a bit of a mystery. He grew up in this really poor village in Mexico, and he told his friends, you know, I'm not going to come back here until I come back as a king. Ce sueño, c'est la brutalité, c'est la violence incarnée, et avec très peu de sentiments. On a vraiment essayé de faire passer cette impression de, 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 de monstre inhumain. Au final, on, on a des personnages qui sont subtilement transcendés et qui sont subtilement euh, crédibles tout en restant dans la fantaisie du jeu.